violence inflicted upon someone based on their gender. Be transparent about their, um, about their efforts to fight gender-based violence and not just say that they have plans in place, but to actually put forward what they have in place. I think that it starts in the administration, so the government um, laws definitely need to be amended in order for that to fold it down into communities because I think once we start taking action at the governmental level, it will then fold it out to the rest of society. And I think we need to keep on the movement in everyday society by holding others accountable. Um, but I do think we need more action at the government. I think it's important because it's an issue we as females and as a local school, we are faced with every day and it is very important we recognize it and combat it because we want the younger generations to feel safe in, in their environments and to thrive in the environments that they're in and not fear being assaulted. And I think that it's an incredibly good way that we can move forward as a, as a country and these 16 days be like highlighting what we've achieved throughout the year. But I think that we should be doing more that it should be a year-round thing, that these conversations shouldn't just be limited to 16 days because there's more than 16 women killed each month in our country. So we need to be more aware and more willing to have these uncomfortable conversations throughout the year. I think the important thing is that it is another step and you can never just stay at the first step. Awareness has to be your first step, but once you are aware of the problem, aware of a situation. You cannot stop there because then accountability kicks in. Whether you're going to take it or not, it is there. So after you're aware of something, after that you are either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. Which means that sometimes it's just in the way we speak. Um, once you're aware of issues like gender-based violence, etc. Language becomes important. There's no such thing as underage sex or sex of an underage person. That's rape, that's statutory rape. There's no such thing as consensual sex. It's just sex because non-consensual sex is not a thing. It's called rape. So when we speak differently, when we don't, when we don't mind our words, then we're part of the problem. Um, sometimes it is in what people say around you. If people are making jokes, if they are if they are laughing at the things that, that boys say about girls, that men say about women, um, even if it's about the role of women, everything is about power in gender-based violence. So if you are okaying a position of power of one over the other, and you don't challenge that, then you're part of the problem. So if you, when you hear things like that, you have to challenge it. You have to stand up and say that that is not correct. You have to be prepared to be the person that is unpopular in that minute to say that that's not okay to say that it's not okay to make that kind of a statement and that I think is the start of accountability so it's about the fact that all of us are accountable whether we whether we accept it or understand it or not we are accountable because we all can do something against gender-based violence whether it is speaking out whether it is in support of victims or survivors rather um, whether it is in listening when someone says something to you instead of brushing it under the carpet whether it is in still supporting those artists those famous people that get called out on rape on gender-based violence of some sort and then laughing it off because they are heroes or they we're fans of them all of those are problematic things and we need to stop doing that that's accountability oh, making gender-based violence you have to make people aware of what goes on, how the forms that they can come in. Um, but moving from from ways of accountability just basically means that you have to start putting those words and those things that you're saying into action. So even though you're preaching about your new science, which is always amazing to get anybody to listen to you is amazing, but most definitely putting those words into action. The UN Women 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence Campaign has been running since 1991. Let that sink in. 30 years. And unfortunately, it's needed now more than ever. The fact that we still need this campaign, that we still need to raise awareness, is both sad and unfortunate. The theme for 2021, moving from awareness to accountability. Accountability. 
And that's an important concept. We need to hold both ourselves and those around us, most notably the men and boys in our lives and in our communities, accountable for the words they speak, the thoughts they share, and what they act on. Violence is not only physical, it is both mental and emotional as well. We are not your punching bags. We are not your slaves. We are your partners and we are your equals. We are brave, we are resilient, and we will fight back one way or another.